Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Air Combat Maneuvering. I am Raku and today we will take a look at the low yo-yo. The excellent image by uh, Monty Python you are looking at shows you how the low yo-yo should look. And if you put a little attention on the details you can already guess why we fly it. Let's examine the image and explain how and why we fly the low yo-yo. We can see we are behind a bandit, but suppose we are too far away to use our cannons and either we don't have any missiles left or the distance is too small to use it. By diving inverted, we gain speed and use this speed to actually close in on the bandit. When coming out of the dive again, we should have decreased the distance and hopefully be in range of our gun. And in case we are not, just fly another low yo-yo. Me and my training buddy Shagrat are both flying an M2000C. Uh, I am the aggressor, Shagrat is the defender and currently I'm trailing him, slowly closing in and we will just demonstrate the, the low yo-yo. You can actually see I'm out of the range of my gun. I'm going in lag pursuit here, just trying to close in, this is not fast enough. Diving a bit inverted, keeping him inside and coming right up again, not losing him, slowly, slowly drifting on the outside of his turning circle and getting behind him, getting a lock and there you see I'm in range of my gun. Let me shortly explain the cockpit elements for those of you who don't know the Pippa. This is, where's my mouse pointer? This is my pipper and the the line that crosses in on the 12 o'clock position is the range. Now, exactly now, I'm out of range of my gun. Sure, I let go of him, but you could see I was well inside the gun range. In contrast to the last episodes, uh, this time tech view is absolutely interesting to look at. Here you can see the full power of the low yo-yo and the effect it has. Please ignore for a moment that I was actually faster than Chagrat when going into the turn. Uh, suppose I wasn't closing in fast enough or that I had no chance of going faster than him. Let's rewind a bit because let's look at our distance. You can see our distance here, 3.9000 foot, closing in slightly and when starting the turn it was about 3600. Now, we do the yo-yo, whoops, we do the yo-yo and when coming out and out of it and I'm behind him again, we have to zoom in a bit here, it was only about 2200 foot. So we gained nearly half of the, half of the distance we, we, uh, we closed in. Uh, while flying the yo-yo, you can see, you can see the best from now ah, let's look at it while playing. While flying the yo-yo you can see I'm pulling actually into his turning circle and when coming up at it, when, when exiting the dive, about now you can see I'm slowly drifting on the outside of his turning circle again, really slowly. And finally I end up behind him only a bit closer. Let's look at it from the top, this is interesting again, because here you can see I literally cut him off while doing the yo-yo. Here we have me going down and you can see I literally cut him off or better to say I cut his circle off and this is what the low yo-yo is all about. You wanna, you wanna close in uh, to be in, in range of your guns or whatever you would like to do, whatever reason you, you have for actually closing in. Uh, I really I really like flying the low yo-yos, they are really easy to fly if you don't lose sight on the bandit and the effects can be quite spectacular. Fly safe and see you next time.